Oh my gosh, this is my third time making the clip volume for this, like the, basically the, I don't know, the recording my voice in it. Alright, so anyway, I'm just going to get on. So, this does include spoilers of the new movie and basically the whole Pet Cemetery franchise. Now, if you don't want to stay here because you don't want to hear the spoilers or anything, please go. But before you do, please subscribe to just help the kid out with the dream. A small creator like me really needs it. It would mean a lot to me. So anyway, if you could do that for me, it would be greatly appreciated. Anyway, let's get on. So, uh, spoilers starting right now. 3, 2, 1. Alright, so what happens in the new movie that has changed? Everybody knows that Gage dies in the first movie, the original Pet Cemetery. Right there is a picture, basically, of what happens. As you can see, the dad is running to try to save Gage from the truck about to hit him and kill Gage. And in the movie, in this new movie, what happens is Gage is saved. The dad, and what's weird to me is in the new movie, the dad also jumps to save Gage. Just like you can see the dad is right now trying to do to catch Gage. This movie, he's not fast enough, he doesn't jump far enough in order to save Gage and take him away from the thing, or from the truck. Um, and in this new movie, the dad is barely able to grab him by jumping, like in this one, which is weird because it's oddly similar, and saves him. And with this, if you ever saw the movie, or actually no, I'm gonna, actually yeah, alright. If you've ever saw the movie Final Destination, it's sort of dumb, uh, wait, a spoiler's right here for Final Destination. You've never seen it. It doesn't really matter, though. Probably never gonna watch it anyway, and here's, like, what happened in the movie. It's really not in the spoilers. But anyway, um, when a character is about to die or possibly skips, skips his death by just moving, it's sort of dumb. I think if they're gonna die, they're gonna die by heart attack if they're dying in order. But anyway... Um, they basically um, escape death and make it go back onto the next person, which is exactly what happens in this new movie. So Gage is saved, causing it to go on to Ella, the older sibling, the other sibling with family. So anyway, it's crazy because this is basically a parallel universe, meaning if you don't know what that is, I'm not going to say all the mumbo jumbo I was talking about earlier. Anyway, that um, parallel universe is like, if you ever heard of a parallelogram that's like in math, it has congruent slabs which basically means the same in like, just that's what it means. Congruent means the same. Anyway, so a parallel universe is basically the same sort of universe, but it has changed a little. And what I mean by this is this is called, par this is a parallel universe, this new movie. And here's why, alright? So, what happens is, um, Gage is saved, causing it to go on to Ella. Ella dies, she gets buried, anything, anyway, this causes a lot of changes, making some of the plot different and everything, and mostly just, this is basically all I really need to say, I'm gonna talk just a little more, a little bit more. So, this causes Ella to kill the whole family, and the very end, she kills the whole family. Because she's brought back to life. Well, actually, before her, the cat is brought to life. And then it's turned evil. But that's, like, besides the point, really. Anyway. So, she is turned evil because she is buried instead of Gage, which was supposed to. And basically, she starts going and killing Rampage. Because that, like, you know, she was buried, she turned evil. So, if you don't know what a parallel un universe, though, it's... So, what I'm talking about is, if you're in the zombies community, there's a lot of things, like subplots, and the universe, stuff to do with universes, it's really confusing. I recommend you get into it, but it takes years to honestly learn. It really does. It's a lot taken. Like, I know a lot about it. It's not that I can't understand it. It's just that it's so much taken that normally you just forget about some stuff. I'm pretty smart with it, though. But anyway... This is a parallel universe, I'm pretty sure. Just like in Final Destination, like I was saying, they pass on their death to the next person, sort of dumb. But anyway, that's basically what happened. It causes them to, or Gage to survive, help to die. And that's basically like the whole subplot of the, I mean, the sort of twist in the movie, which makes it a parallel universe. Because I don't think it was a remake. I think that Stephen King is a really smart person, obviously. 
I'm sure the people that made this movie got consent from uh, Stephen King, I think. Anyway, Final Destination gets passed on to the next person, and this is what happened. That makes it a parallel universe, basically. And that's really all I gotta say. I don't really know what else to say. I'm not gonna ramble on like I was last time, the other clip. But anyway, so really all I need to say now is just tell me what your guys think, what you guys think in the comments below. Tell me what you guys' thoughts on this are. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it at here. Please subscribe and like. It took me a little bit of effort to put into it. I did have to see the movie. It wasn't a bad movie, of course. I think you should watch it. It's a great movie. You saw the other Pets and Terry's of course, still, still sort of dumb as it only places like on one thing, but it's pretty good. Go watch it. Cause I'm making a video about it, so I sort of have to see that. Nah, but um, go watch it whenever it comes out for you. Anyway, I'm gonna end it out here, guys. Make sure you subscribe. Anyway.